Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aries for the month of December. This month I am using the Lover's Path Tarot and one card from the Romance Angels. Uh, if you're new to my channel, the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. If more than one card falls out, then I put it back in the deck and I will shuffle till it falls out. Just the one at a time. Those are clarity cards and they're jumper, jumping cards. Um, these readings are also very general, so they are not meant for everybody. If it resonates with you, that's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine too. You can always purchase a private reading from me um, or take, what, take from it what works for you or what resonates with you. All right. Okay. So what are the messages for Aries for the month of December? Aries for the month of December. Aries for the month of December. All right, first card we have is contemplation. Aries for the month of December. There goes my dog, making all kinds of funny noises. He knows the camera's rolling. <laughs> Ace of coins. Oh gosh. Chop, chop, come on over here. Lie down. He knows it. He knows when that camera's rolling. If he can't be on camera, he wants to be heard. <laughs> what is the messages for Aries for the month of December? Four of Cups. Aries for the month of December. Aries for the month of December. What are the messages for Aries? Queen of Cups. Messages for Aries for the month of December. 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 Five of coins. Aries for the month of December. Aries for the month of December. Messages for Aries for the month of December. Aries for the month of December. We have Awakening. Aries for the month of December. And then three of Staves. I'm hoping all of this is within the camera range. All right, so the very first card here is the card that is representing the forces between the two of you or the energies between the two of you. We have contemplation, which is the hermit card. It's going within, trying to get some truth, some clarity. Um, it's about kind of going it alone. So this month might be a very quiet month of both of you guys um, contemplating thinking, um, trying to sort out the situation between the two of you. This is about withdrawal, introspection, and it's retreating. Or the two of you guys could just be retreating on your own together, perhaps. It's learning together. It is about listening to your heart uh, and retreating into your inner life. And you need to... Um, and your needs are not so focused on relationship with others, but on your, perhaps your relationship with yourself. Is this a healthy relationship? Should I keep continuing? What can I do to make this better? All right. Okay. So, the, so this is the energies between the two of you. Now, this is what you want. It's the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins talks about a new beginning. What do you want? Perhaps a new beginning in the relationship. Um, do you want a new beginning in stability of the relationship? Because the Ace of Coins talks about stability. It's about growth. It's prosperity. Um, it could be a beginning of a new phase. And it could be filled with good fortune. It's about contentment in personal life. You want contentment, um, growth, fertility. What do they want? Here's the Four of Cups. Now they are feeling, uh, the Four of Cups talks about being apathetic, feeling unfulfilled. Um, this is about being bored. They want more. And perhaps the contemplation is 
how to get more out of the relationship, perhaps what they can do. So they, they're looking for more. There's some dissatisfaction here and boredom. It's about taking something for granted, whether it's love, beauty, and it's a need for more. So they want more. This is perhaps why they're, they're thinking the way they are. There's a contemplation here going on between the two of you. Okay. All right. Then we have the Queen of Cups. This is what you need. Here's the Queen of Cups. This talks about in emotions, inspiration, receptivity. Perhaps you need more empathy from this person that you're with. You, um, uh, it's about beauty, intimacy, love. It's about seductivity. And it's about the ability to, to express it. This person may not be able to express what they, what they want. You're needing more. You need them to express what they need from you. Okay. Now, what they want. Now, we have the five of coins. And the five of coins is about feeling like they're left out in the cold. The five of coins is a card of, it's about... Um, emotionally being left out in the cold, uh, what do they want? This is about also worry. The five of coins talks about worry. It's isolation. Five of coins um, is about emotional sterility. It's about insecurities. They have some insecurities too. And so they could be holding back the emotions, what you need. This is talking about them holding back on the emotions as well because there could be some insecurities in this relationship okay now how you see them here's the awakening you see them this is like the sun it's about uh, having a joyous outcome it's the luckiest card in the deck this card is about um creativity success you see them as perhaps your life partner, the person that you want to be with. This card refers to an emotional awakening. And it's about love and sexuality. It's about opportunities and optimism. You, you see them as the person that you want to be with, perhaps. You want to work on this. You're optimistic. You see this growing. And I believe you want to keep working on this relationship. Okay, now what do, how they see you? We have the three of staves, which is the three of wands. How do they see you? This is about planning. Um, they see you. It's about something that's about to get, have, be successful. This is a build, the ability to transform goals in a realistic action. It's about focused creativity. So even though they are going inward, and they are um, uh, trying to come to some realizations, this card is saying that they want success and they're planning for the success with you. All right, so both of you guys just are wanting the same thing. It's just you need to share some emotions from what I could tell here, okay? All right, now... Whoa, wrong deck. I will let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages for Aries for the month of December? Aries for the month of December. Aries for the month of December. Aries for the month of December. Forgive and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this could mean that if you're in a relationship or they were in a relationship or they were hurt, they had their heart broken, you're both holding back now, this card is saying forgiving and learning and move forward. And it will help this relationship move forward as, forward as well. All right, so if anybody is interested in getting a private reading, I'm what's called a clairsentient. I read energy, I read people. Reading people is where I shine and I do my best work and also cards, but reading people, I'm about 90% on when it comes to being able to read someone's emotions, feelings, yours, the person that you're involved with, or whatever the case is. 
all right? Email me if you want to purchase a private reading or inquire about one, email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and I have the readings out within five days at the very most. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. I truly appreciate it and I hope these messages help. Have a great month of December. Bye-bye.